Hi guys, good evening. This is Bain. Um, welcome to Bain Haven. Uh, tonight we will be discussing about protection spells, so just the basic protection. Um, we, I want to discuss how it's, uh, you know, done. Uh, what are the types of protection uh, that uh, a person can actually do, even if he's not pagan, he's not a weaken, he's not um, uh, a witch. For example, if you're a Catholic or if you're a Christian, if you are a, um, a Muslim, for example, what are the things, or a Buddhist, uh, Hindu, what are the things that you could do to protect yourself from specific things? So protection, again, is, of course, uh, something uh, that a person can use to avert disaster, avert something bad uh, happening to them. Uh, so this could be a, in different forms. I actually categorized it in a few, um, you know, like uh, a few uh, subcategories. We have uh, divine or, um, or divine or spiritual protection. Uh, we have uh, psychic protection, psychic shield, psychic shielding. We also have. Um, Amulets and talismans, what are those things? And uh, tattoos, magical words, gestures, chants, and songs, symbols. Uh, these things are, you know, um, this uh, protection is a very, very broad tab uh, topic. So we will be uh, discussing a little bit uh, of those. So we're probably gonna uh, start with the first one on my list, on my outline. Uh, this is uh, divine protection. So divine protection or spiritual protection is invoking the power of the divine to, uh, you know, to uh, gain uh, protection from a specific thing, uh, a bad thing. So divine or spiritual protection can be um, easily achieved if you have a very good connection with the deity that you are asking the protection from. For example, uh, if you're Catholic, then you could probably ask the Holy Spirit, uh, Jesus. Uh, for Filipino Catholics, some of them would actually invoke the power of the, the Sacred Heart of Jesus or the um, Immaculate Heart of Mary as part of their protection. Uh, Christians can also um, invoke the power of angels, like you know, through a chant or a prayer called um, "Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom is love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide." Amen. So it's a protection chant that um, you could actually do. So if you're a, a pagan, for example, uh, normally uh, we pagans we invoke uh, the or we call on the power of the gods or you know we call on the names of the gods to uh, invoke protection you know uh, as part of that uh, spiritual protection or divine protection that uh, we need some people especially in the oriental uh, religions oriental practices they could invoke the, the power of the ancestors um, some people would invoke the power of uh, the genius law by the spirit of the place. In uh, Roman paganism, uh, there is uh, the lar or the lar, laris familiaris, the spirits of the household, the gods of the household that they could invoke to protect the, the, the home. So um, divine protection, spiritual protection, again, this can only be achieved if you have a very good connection with the divine that you are asking the favor from or the spirit that you're asking the favor from so in order for you to have a very good protection with the divine um, and a very good connection with the divine uh, you need to do devotional you need to do um, your offering you need to give them uh, you know offerings on the altars you need to give them uh, gifts that uh, they you know uh, that would make that uh, personal connection with the divine very strong or stronger so um, we'll end this divine protection and spirit protection now I'll be uh, discussing uh, again some of them on the next uh, episode tomorrow of uh, you know our topics on protection rights and protection rituals so thank you so much